Hi everybody, I'm here at the Oregon Inn on Bayshore Road in Oregon, Ohio. I'm with the owner, Art. Art, thanks so much for having me today. Thank you, appreciate you coming. Of course. I wanted to thank one of our viewers, Matt. Thank you so much for nominating Oregon Inn. Give me a little feel of what we're gonna be cooking today. Yeah, we're gonna feature a couple of our uh, famous appetizers, our tar of onion rings. Uh, prime rib. We're going to do a uh, lakery perch cake that's something new to the area. Perch cake, like a crab Kinda cake? Kind of like a crab cake, but done with lakery perch. I'm intrigued. All right, yep. well, let's head to the kitchen and start cooking. Okay. Okay. We're going to do uh, tower of onion rings. Who cuts these? You cry every morning <laughs> yeah, yeah. when you cut these? <laughs> every day? Just start toss them in there? Or, okay. These are definitely not your typical onion rings. These are humongous. <laughs> If you want to come back here, I want to show you how we do prime rib. Okay. We use what's called an alto sham, high humidity, um, even temperature oven that uh, cooks on all sides. On a typical Friday, Saturday night, we'll do about eight to ten prime ribs a night. Wow. So a lot of prime rib. A lot of it. Nice even color and tall. The prime rib, we get this this roasting on the top of it, and then kind of seals in all the juices. Whoa, no, this is, this is just the medium. You can get a bigger size. Yeah, uh, the extra large. Yeah. Nice. So what goes into making these perch cakes? Well, we start out with a raw perch and we, we deep fry it. And after, after that, then we dice that up after we chill it down, add all of our other ingredients, make them into a cake. Nice, Austin. Perfect golden brown right there. Matt, who recommended this place to me, said that you have an excellent wine selection. Mm -hmm. Did you want to talk about that? Yeah, I try to find things that are in all price ranges. I've got wines on my list that are in the neighborhood of you know fifteen to eighteen dollars, all the way up to a hundred dollars, so that I can do a reasonable price for Make my customer. Make it customers. affordable. For I, your I try customers. to be affordable to the customer, and my philosophy on wine is if, if they enjoy it and or if I can convert them to a better bottle of wine, they're going to come back and have a good dinner the next time. Gotta start off with the perch cakes. These look fantastic. I like it. Less of a fishy taste. Right, it's more right. just like, you can taste the perch. Compliment to the chefs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the tower of onion time. A lot of people cut them, a lot yeah. of people don't. It's just Maybe that'd be a little want. more ladylike if I did that. Mmm, best fried onion I've ever <laughs> eaten. Now this is just the medium cut prime rib, meaning that you can order a size that is twice the size of this. Right, yeah, we start at six ounces for a senior cut and go all the way up to 32 ounces for an extra large. So we have about six sizes of prime rib. That's insane, but I'm not complaining. That's good. Good? Mm-hmm. Wow, okay, that, I was not expecting that, Art. <laughs> what, what's the occasion? Yeah. <laughs> well, just a little extra thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. You have to try this. Get on down to the Oregon Inn. <laughs> try this cake, try their meat, try their fish, try their wine, try it all. And also don't forget to visit my Facebook page to vote for your favorite local dishes for Life Tastes Better here.